Hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. Today we're making another royal porcelain inspired soap and I had a vote on my community tab for all my members who've joined my channel um, so they could choose between Royal Derby and the Queen's 90th. Now the overwhelming winner was actually the Royal Derby so here's a picture of the two all right so let's get making this soap so I guess it's going to have uh, a white base with some beautiful teal color on the top now even at this moment I'm not quite sure how I'm going to recreate that teal but I've got a few kind of bluey greens so I'm hoping I can get the perfect shade with this the Royal Albert I didn't think I got the pink quite right uh, it wasn't pale enough and the Wedgwood was just a little dark I would say so this time I want to get it absolutely spot on so let's blend shall we So the fragrance we're using today is tuberose and cardamom from Saint Perfique. It's really nice. As you can see, it has a little bit of a yellowy tinge to it. Uh, so obviously I did a sample um, and I read the reviews and it said it soaked and didn't dis soak beautifully and didn't discolour. Uh, this is a few days old and as you can see, it hasn't discoloured at all yet. So it's I think pretty sure it's going to stay true like a true light color right so what I want to do now is just separate off some batter into these two jugs I'm going to put 1.3 kilos in each one and this is going to be the white layer uh, then we need a gold layer but I'm not sure whether to just paint it on um, okay so I want to add the same quantity of titanium dioxide in each so I'm just going to keep spooning these in until I think we've got the right amount pretty sure that'll be enough so this is what your titanium dioxide looks like when you just stir it in without blending And then when you blend it, watch the difference. Big difference, isn't it?
yeah while we're waiting for this side to sit, set up so I can scrape it uh, with the the wallpaper scraper uh, I just want to mention my sort making from scratch series there's a link in the in the description box below uh, to the playlist um, we've got six episodes so far and that's just going to continue as we're going on um, there'll be another episode on Friday um, this Friday so be sure to check that out now sort making from scratch episodes will always be on a Friday from now on um, and I aim to get two per month but I'd like to do a few more than that but there will definitely be at least two per month it just gives people you know if I if I set it to every other Friday then you can those people that are actually waiting for those episodes will know exactly when it's going to be on and the ones that don't want to watch will know exactly when it's going to be on so this Friday the date will be 19th so there'll be another sort making from scratch episode on the 19th and this should be ready to scrape now I love doing this I love it it's a great way to get your layers flat I can't believe I've never thought about doing it before but it's a great way to get your layers flat when you've got a, a fragrance that makes your soap thicken up really fast because in the past um, I would have just had an uneven level but now I won't have an uneven level because we've got a nice flat layer through using the pit uh, the wallpaper scraper yeah I've got a bit of soap there uh, but that can just go in a silicon mold and we'll be able to use it um, just for, for home use right next layer is going to be a gold layer okay so what we're going to do now is do a gold layer and I'm using bright gold from mineral makeup ingredients I'm just going to put about 500 grams of batter into here and then that will just get split in two going to be a bright shiny gold because when you put any sparkling colours into cold process because the soap's opaque it's very difficult for, for there to be any metallic shining through even though it looks nice and metallic in its natural form um, so I'm just going to blend that in Just put a tiny bit of uh, fragrance in there. Now you can see it's getting a little bit thick already I've been faffing on doing other things but I'm not so worried because we've got the scraper so I can still make this layer nice and flat Now, as I said before, um, 
some of my members who are members of my channel they chose uh, the people who have the mid-level perks I gave them the option to choose whether they can which one of these soaps to do so if you want to become a member of this channel um, just click the join button which is next to the the subscribe button on the channel and you can just choose uh, which level perks that you would like or that you can afford now if you can, can't afford to do that I totally understand you know there's nothing going to be no videos are going to be hidden from you um, because you can't afford uh, to become a member um, you know I grew up very poor so I know what it's like uh, not to be able to afford things that you'd like I also just want to mention how long I've actually been on YouTube now um, but before that I just want to mention the soapers that have been on YouTube the longest and um, the person that I can find that's been doing soap making on YouTube the longest is Spirit White Fox. Now she did, she's been on YouTube for 13 years off and on and then she's called Beanie and she used to make soaps with her husband so it was Brady and Beanie making soap together. You were probably the first soap maker on YouTube let's put it that way and then the next um, channel to start uploading soap videos was um, now I don't know whether it was Cherie, Sherry Wibbit or Brambleberry because they both started uploading soap videos in April in 2009 and then I came next in February 2010 now this was on my old, old channel uh, called the soap maker one now the reason I changed from got a new channel was because I just wanted everything brand wise to have the same name so because uh, my my business was called Eden Secret then I wanted to call my channel Eden Secret as well and I don't know what it was but I think and maybe back in those days you couldn't just change the name on your channel like you can now um, and then there were another couple of soap makers I think one was called natural soap and I would love it if anybody can remember the other one she used to do a lot of blue soaps I'd love to remember her I've been trying to remember her for a couple of years uh, but I just can't remember what the name of our channel was um, you know and I just wonder where are all these people now I wonder what they're doing and then since then there's been hundreds I remember I started my channel not because anyone else was doing so up on YouTube I had no idea if anybody was but I had this idea, oh I wonder if I can, anyone would be interested in watching me make soap, I think I'll have a go at doing videos. So I had a look on YouTube and saw that there were a couple of people already doing videos and definitely one was Brambleberry, she was soap queen then, and Marie, and then yeah there was Beanie and Brady and Cherie. Um, there was another lady, I think she was called Natural Soap. Uh, but she only had like a couple of videos that's all um yeah so wow how it's taken off since then incredible eh okay so i'm just gonna try a teaspoonful first i don't think that'll be enough but 
We'll see. And remember that because this is opaque, it is going to set um, a lighter colour. That looks pretty good. It's really good at the moment, but because it sets a little bit light, I'm just going to put a little bit more in. Not even sure whether to put any um any TD in, you know. I don't think I will. You know, looking at the picture on the screen, it, it doesn't look pastel at even in the slightest, so I guess better to better to try and do it as I can see it on the screen. Okay, so we're just going to take the scraper again and I find it best if you just push up against your liner on the right there and it keeps it nice and straight and then do the same on the left
Okay, so we have one more step that we need to do. I've got some bright gold mica mixed up in this bottle with some rubbing alcohol. Nice spray bottle. I'll put a link uh, to the video, <coughs> video where you can see me mixing these and all the links to buy the bottles and the micas are in the description box. So because the top of this, the rim of this, uh, the crockery has a bright gold rim, uh, we're just going to spray lots of bright gold on the top of here. I think turquoise with bright gold sprayed on the top. I always think it looks gorgeous. When I see, you know, someone else's soap and they've, they've made just a turquoise soap, which I've done myself as well. Uh, but, you know, when you see others doing it, it's like, oh, that looks so good. I just want to make sure all oh, that blue is well covered. doesn't take long for all of that alcohol to evaporate off and then you'll just it's it's better than just putting dry mica on the top uh, if you want a, a metallic cover like this a metal if you want a metallic coverage like this uh, it's better to use the mica with the rubbing alcohol in it time to cut now I always like to make sure that measure hasn't moved at all during the last cut I'm thinking that's too wide three and a half I don't want to cut them at three and a half do I I'll cut them at three see it was too big just going to cut a slither off the end and there we've got a gold line with the turquoise on the top so once we've cut these then we're actually going to pipe on there Ok, 
Okay, so we're going to start just off centre. We're doing a little curl like so. Then we're going to put two stems on so it's like a stand. And then from the centre of the stand, just go straight up the soap and over the top. And then at the top, we're doing what looks a bit like a menorah. Then we're going to start with a swirl here. I'll do the same at the other side. This is the hard part, is trying to get it, get it identical. How did I do? Not brilliant. And then just in the centre here we're going to put a couple of little stems out of the stand. And then we're going to start here with another swirl. And we're going to go around but we're going to follow the other swirl. And we're just going to join it on like that. This side we'll start and do it in the other direction, just w whichever's comfortablest for you. And then the design actually has two stems coming out of here, but there's not room for it on this soap, so we're just going to pop one on there. And then that stem seems to have three dots on it. And then I think what I'll do when this is dried is I'll, I'll give the gold piping a brush with gold mica. And that's it really. I have to say using this finer tip is a lot better than the thicker tip that we did. So I'm going to continue piping those. It'd be quite nice to put it on the back as well but I can't put it on the back until the front's dry. I wonder if I can stand it up and do it and there we have yet another royal porcelain inspired soap this one was royal derby and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to put your comments in down below the video and let me know if you have any royal porcelain or any porcelain whatsoever uh, let me know because i'd love to check them out all right, everyone, I'll see you all very, very soon for yet another one of these Royal Porcelain in inspired soaps. But before that, um, on Friday, it will be the next episode, episode seven in the Soap Making from Scratch series, where we'll be making a pure Castile soap. All right, everyone. Bye bye for now.